Now, a quick disclaimer about the conversation we're about to have. The word sex will come out, also some adult terminology. Now, I'm joined today with Blake Spence, Blake Spence from <laughs> the Calgary Sexual Health Center, and we thought it would be fitting since it's the month of Valentine's as well as, uh, the Calgary, er, as, well as Sex Week here at the University of Calgary that you come by and share some information with us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> awesome. Now, can you tell us um, a little bit about the Calgary Sexual Health Center and why our students should come over and visit you? Yes. Uh, we've been around since 1972. We're a pro-choice, feminist-based organization. Uh, we have an office in Kensington. We give out lots of free stuff, free condoms, pregnancy tests, pamphlets. We do uh, confidential counseling for anything that has to do with sex or sexuality. And uh, we're super cool, so people should come and see us. <laughs> awesome. So it doesn't have to cost anything to be protected. No, to it's free. Sex. It's free stuff. <laughs> That's really cool. So I hear that you have upgrade, updated your website, and there's some new features. Can you just tell us a little bit about what we should be checking out on your website? Yeah, today is the first day of the website. It's calgarysexualhealth.ca. And it's super cool. It's got lots of information. And the, the coolest thing, it's got a anonymous question box essentially so you can write a question and have it sent to one of our educators or counselors and they will answer it and you don't actually have to have your name or anything attached to it so any question no such thing that's too big or too small can be asked perfect yeah that's really cool um, so just a question about um, myths and uh, sexual health a lot of people seem to think a lot of people seem to think that uh, you should go see someone when you I don't know see something or, or feel something going on uh, what are some of the myths that you have heard or have come across about people wanting uh, to avoid getting tested? It's endless. People think that they can get an STI from a toilet seat sometimes. You can't, so don't worry about that. Um, STIs often have no signs or symptoms, so people can have one for a long time and have no idea. So the only way to really know is to go and get checked out and get tested. Now, is this like a regular thing that... Well, it depends on what sort of things people are up to. If someone, if people have multiple partners, then it's a good idea to get tested every three months. If they're in a committed relationship, um, then obviously it's not as important, um, maybe at the beginning of the relationship mm -hmm. or in between relationships. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really interesting. So um, maybe you can tell us how we can start a discussion with um, a sexual health discussion with a new partner. Uh, tips or strategies? Yeah, I mean, sex is everywhere, right? So you can't avoid it. So it's easy. It's like, oh, I saw a billboard today and someone was having sex on it. What do you think about that? Uh, I think there's lots of opportunities for people to inject sex into the conversation because it's everywhere. And I think it's super important within a relationship to have those conversations about safety and sexual health because mm -hmm. communication is going to make a relationship succeed, right? And once you get that out of the way, then, then you're good. <laughs> then you're golden. Ideally. Thank you so much. Thank you. For joining us today. And uh, yeah, see you around next time. <laughs>